Lesson 1.1.3 Recognizing Functions and Function Families In this video we will determine which function family a graph represents. So this one has four different vocabulary words. It's the five, or not four, the five function families. And those are our vocabulary words. So a linear function includes functions of the form f of x equals ax plus b, where a and b are real numbers. Exponential functions includes functions of the form f of x equals a times b to the x plus c where a, b, and c are real numbers, and b is greater than 0, but not equal to 1. So it can be, you know, 0.9, and it can be 1.1, but it cannot be 1 itself. Linear absolute value functions include functions of the form f of x equals a absolute value of x plus b plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to zero. Quadratic function includes functions of the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to zero. The reason a can't be equal to zero is the x squared would go away and we would have a linear function. And same thing with the linear absolute value. If a was zero, the absolute value would go away and we would have a linear function as well. Last one, linear piecewise function includes functions that have equations Equation, equation changes for different parts or pieces of the domain. So go ahead, pause it so you can copy it down. And then once you're done copying it down, unpause and we'll continue on. Determine which determine whether each graph represents a linear function, a quadratic function, an exponential function, a linear absolute value function, or a linear piecewise function. So this first one, hmm, I guess before we do this, let me go back to the previous slide. Let me give you a visual for each of these. So a linear function, you guys should know what that looks like by now. It could be a straight line going down. It could be a line going up. It could also be a line that is horizontal. Okay. Those are all examples of linear functions. Exponential functions are ones that either come down towards something and flatten out or maybe they go, um, they come from a flat line and then they curve up. Okay, those are both exponential functions. We could flip them across the x-axis and repeat the same thing. So they could be below the x-axis curving down or um, curving. The last one would do something like come up towards something and flatten out. Okay, those are all exponential functions. Linear absolute value functions are easy to find because they're v-shapes. Okay, they could have a minimum, right, v-shape with a minimum, or they could have a, a it could be a v-shape with a maximum. Quadratics are another letter of the alphabet. Quadratics are u-shaped graphs. So either u-shapes with a minimum or a U-shape with a maximum, okay? And then the linear piecewise is one that is built of 
uh, multiple linear functions with different changes in them. Something like that. It could be something like that. Okay, where these are all straight lines. Okay, those are linear piecewise. So now let's go back to the question and determine if number one is which one number one is. So number one has that whole horizontal line and then a curve to it. And I said that kind of function is an exponential function. So pause it. I want you to try number two and three and then unpause it and check and see how you did. So hopefully you got two was a linear function and three was a linear piecewise function. Don't forget to continue on and do the other uh, problems in this section as well.